So here's my father, all right? Mm. We, I was about 12 years old, and we lived in Basking Ridge, New Jersey. And we were in the cars. My, my older brother had a Buick uh, Electra Deuce and a quarter, and I think my brother-in-law, Ronnie, had a, I think it was a Skylark, a Buick Skylark. But I could be wrong about that. But anyway, the quarter panel of the Skylark was um, off, and I had gone under there, skinned my knuckles, and, and put that quarter panel back on, you know. And I, I was really proud of myself. that it, And I skinned my knuckles a couple of times, and then I learned how not to skin my knuckles. It was an experience, but it hurt, man. It was like, ow, it was painful at first, you know what I'm saying? But I was 12, man. I was doing stuff like that. I was mechanical. I, I could work on my mini bike and, you know, somewhat kind of mechanical, but I had an autistic brain. And my brother had a book, a Chilton's book on, you know, the car. And I read the whole book on the car. I probably, with my autistic head, knew more about the, the stroke and the piston, and you know, at that time, because I don't, but like, I knew about car, the car, you know. And I don't know what I said, but I said, oh, I think it's the carburetor, you know, old choke stuck. I don't know what I said. But, you know, my brother-in-law's Ronnie's there, and, and my father goes, what you know about a car could uh, fill a thimble. This is what my dad says to me after, here I am, just, you know what I mean, talk about lordship here, you know. Give me a break. Did you ask me if I read the Chilton book, Dad? Did you ask me about the book? Did you have as much knowledge as I had about cars, like, from me reading the book? Or did you turn to Ronnie and go, what is it? And he goes, uh, the choke stuck. Oh, the choke stuck. Yeah, you guessed it. Yeah, okay. Thanks. I guessed it. Yeah, I guess I'm wrong. You get it? This was, this was kind of the kind of stuff I grew up with. I, I'm sitting here. I'm like... Right now, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I can speak English, all right? I can read in English, I can read there, you know, in English, English, you know, and this is the kind of stuff I grew up with, feeling because I was jikey. So if I would do something kind of autistic, what are you, getting jikey or something? What's the matter with you? Do you understand? This is the kind of stuff that I grew up under. He, you know, he was stressed out too, man. He drove a truck all day. He didn't eat. He'd come home. He was hypoglycemic by the time he got home. Okay? Comes home. Bat! 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 What? I'm in the bathroom. Oh, sorry. I got in the door. Where's my dinner? All right, hold on. I just had to take a, you know, leave me alone, you know. We're not cooking all day long. She's mumbling this, I'm sure, to herself, you know. Finally, she gets up, washes her hands, you know, goes in, you know, whatever, you know. And uh, brings out the potatoes. Oh, all right, you know, I got my beer, you know. All right, fine. What the hell is this? Now, salt and the mashed potatoes. Bet? What's the matter with you? I tell you every other night. You gotta put salt in it. You always forget to put the salt in the mashed potatoes. What are you? What are you? What are you an idiot? What? What are you, buddy? Eat it. He used to. He used to go. Eat it. He used to do like Archie Bunker. I mean, he was my dad. He was a character, all right, but he wasn't a very nice one when he got home. And I remember because I had autism, and you know, I I have what's called meltdowns, and I flipped out and I kicked the wall. And I'll put a hole in the wall so as my foot. All right? You know, everybody knew I kicked the wall, and we were scared to death of Dad coming home and finding me that I kicked the wall. The last thing I was, it was like, I, I thought, I thought, like, the Grim Reaper was coming, you know, to get me. And we put a chair up against the wall with a jacket over the chair next to the TV. That chair sat there. Nobody would move that chair because everybody knew why that chair was there. Finally, I don't know, maybe a month or two later, a couple, oh, look at the chair. So, and then finally it came out a month later, you know. And when I guess when he heard that, you know, we hit it because I didn't want to die, my father had to be nice. <laughs> 
But I love my father. He loved me. He cried over me. He cried over me. You know, he was he he was worried about me because he didn't understand me. You know, and uh, and a lot of people didn't understand him. He was, uh, you know, he was a war World War Two vet. You know, and maybe he was having flashbacks. I have no idea. But I know I had a pool stick in my hand. And we were playing pool, you know, but he got this look in his eye like I'm, I might look like Charlie, you know, I don't know. But, uh, and I don't mean to offend Japanese people, by the way, I love you. I love you people. I love the way you speak. Uh, uh, or how do I say I'm an idiot in Japanese? Let me look that up. I have to go get my Japanese book to tell everybody how to... Gotta say I'm an idiot in Japanese. Well, not a minute here. And then I'll get off the video because I know it's getting long. But I like doing this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is my life. This is what I like to do. This is this is the cool gift that God has given me in my life. And I want to share. I want to show you what, what God's given me. Let's see. Ohayo gozaimasu. Good morning, you know. Konnichiwa. You know, hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Konbonwa. Good evening. O genki desu ka? How are you? This one I need water for. Okage saga. Okage sama de. Yeah. Akama saibek. Yeah. Okage sama de. Genki desu. I'm fine. Thank you. Gotta work on that. Akage sama de. And you see, it's going to take some time, but you know, I, I have, I'm persistent. This is what I do. This is the gift that God gave me. I praise the Lord and thank Him for it. 